skull crusher. So the skull crusher is going to work your triceps. Now our triceps are the back of the arm here, and they take up two thirds of your arm. So they take up two thirds of your arm, and um, they are a muscle that we don't work in our everyday life. So because we don't work in our everyday life, they tend to maybe be a little bit weaker unless you're actively working on them. So we, um, that's why we need to really work on them, all right? So, um, so yeah, so they, they take up more of your arm than what you think. So skull pressure. We are laying on the ground. So you can lay on the ground or on the bench. So I'm gonna show you the setup to start off with. Okay, so I'm laying on the ground. I'm gonna make sure that my uh, elbow is in line with my shoulder. And that does not move, okay? So that stays fixed and then we're hinging. So I'm gonna hinge from my elbow. I'm coming all the way back down and I'm stopping at my cheekbone. Hence why it's called a skull crusher. So I'm stopping at my cheekbone and then I'm gonna straighten all the way back up. So coming back down, stopping here. Coming all the way back up. Now what people tend to do is, if, especially if their weight's too heavy, they start to bring their arms forward. All right, so they start to bring their arms forward and they might do it this way. But we've lost, we've lost that tension here and we're no longer working our triceps. So again, your whole focus has to be on the triceps here. Okay, so I've got my weights up in the air, I'm checking, my shoulders are relaxed. All right, my core is on. Coming back, stopping at my cheekbone, then coming all the way back up. Coming back down, stopping here, holding it for a second, coming all the way back up. All right, so again, this is if I was starting to maybe lift too heavy, and to see how I've lost my form. Okay, so the elbow has to stay in line with your shoulders the whole time. Now the thing to uh, really concentrate is, um, is really concentrate on using the tricep here and that that does all the work to lift the weight up. Now how can you make this more challenging? So again, we can slow it down. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Straighten up. One, two, three, four, five. So you can challenge yourself that way, okay? Slowing it down, slowing it back up. So you can challenge yourself that way. You can um, do more reps, or you can, like I said, you can, uh, you know, you can hold it here. You can hold it here for five seconds or for 10 seconds, and then straighten it up, all right? But everything wants to be, we all want to be from here. Never ever should we feel anything in our forearms. If you're feeling anything in your forearms, the weight is too heavy, you need to go lighter. All right, good luck. We can leave the rest to your imagination.